what's going on guys? Foz here, back again with another YouTube video. Um, it's been a minute again. That's how I gotta stop doing that to y'all. I feel horrible. Um, I think we're back. Uh, I just did a trip to uh, Chicago. You know, back home. And um, I think that really helped. I think I'm more motivated. I'm more locked in. I know what I need to do now. I know what my goal, my goals are. I've reconnected to that one, to my kid's self, pretty much. So I know, I know what I want. Um, I just got back, really just got back, and we're at the gym right now. Um, last time we talked, we talked about uh, getting a gym membership, and we finally got it. We finally got one. It looks like it's pretty dead at the gym right now. These two cars right here. So. Um, I put my camera. We are going to buy some feel some shit. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's not waste no time. We are maybe doing a grocery haul. Maybe, just maybe. So um, let's transfer over to the camera point of view and we'll be at the gym hitting our first set of chest and shoulders. So let's do this shit. We're back. So, uh, I usually go for like around like 15 reps to 20. Uh, the reason being is because uh wish the mic's on. Yeah, we're good. Just to make sure my chest is worn out is when I do um body climb barbell. I'll make sure my chest feels it and not my shoulders. Because it is a lot of pressure on your shoulders when you do climb. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna do that. Okay, first set. Make sure you stick to chest, I'm gonna do it too. because the grind don't stop but um I did really go hard I mean like it was my ideal only week I kind of timed it up to be like that because I wasn't sure if I was going to the gym at all that week so I had to time it up perfectly usually every like 10 weeks you want like a deal deep deloading week so uh take our time. Make sure each set is hit with passion. Thank you. 
thought I was going to be on set because I love, love this interview. But no, the reason being is I'm not going to tell you this um, If you're attached to things, that again is like a childhood thing. But that would be attached to like material things, man. Right? It's so, it could be, it could get so bad. Because like you could use, you, you could lose, I could lose this shirt right now. And have a stay on it and everything else. I mean, that could potentially ruin your day. So I try my best to not be materialistic. Well, I know some people are. That's how it goes. Okay, so the second level. To the next. Okay, uh, next exercise we want to do is my uh, bench press. I'm pretty nervous. I haven't done these in a long time. Definitely with Smith machines. But I think they were pretty sad doing them. We have I think I'm, I'm very excited, but also nervous to add these to my workout routine because I really enjoy shoulder. But it looks really fun to do. You know, so why not try it? Usually I go for like six or eight, or at least the goal is ten. Probably had like six or eight. To it, to be honest, I added uh, 10 pounds to this load because I feel like less, less uh, set was a little bit too easy. So, uh, Or 
I had this. Make sure you like, you guys are flat. Have a flat back. You do implements. You just do this. Might as well just do normal bench at that point. So keep your back straight. Like this, like that. There we go. This is a good song right here, but um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. My brother, I got his cup in my car. I lost my cup at Chicago. The two days I lost. Chicago. We didn't even realize that. Who's handled this fips? Probably have one more point. generation in general, I feel like runs away from the problems, not try to fix them, and it's understandable too, we don't know the outcome if we do a certain thing or solve a certain problem, but um, that problem is still not going to get solved unless we do something about it, you know, so I think Facing it head on is it really a bad thing that people say? You know? People think uh, consequences is like a bad thing. But in my opinion, I think it's just a neutral word. It just gave a negative uh, annotation to because we can't face that problem or we can't. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, that's what my thought process is. But do we will that information? Every problem you have, you can solve it. You have no problems, so you can find that internal peace with you. Let's do this. Perfect. So 
Susan has a slip and slide. So I kind of switch machines to this one to find the chest exercise. Um, I think the reason I didn't like it is it felt weird. The seat, the sitting felt weird. And I'm just autistic like that a little bit, ain't gonna lie. It's the biggest deal. But um, I just, I don't like feel something that work out. I won't do it. I'm just find another machine. Can I do. Can I find this one. This one's pretty simple. It's pretty cool too because it's everything right here. So I can feel the partials. Okay. Legs help. Legs, legs help. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Way better. And also, how do you guys this dog vibe? Um, I don't want to videos like this more often. Cause I don't like like a dog vibe. Okay, I kind of do. That's, that's kind of why. But I like wearing bright colors like these, or uh, skin warm ones. I can work on this side, but also this side. So I can work on my yeah, side delts and my front delt with this one. And I only need, only need this machine to get shoulders, really. Um, sometimes I do ladder raises, but um, I usually just go until I feel like it's more doubt, or like that muscle feels more doubt. I'll go too much, I go intensely doing the training, but 
I'll go do like one or like two or three sets now. This is how I roll. So you were even working this like a tattoo. You don't want to do too much. But you don't want to do too little. That's my biggest word. But yeah. When we do this, we will check out this sick puppy guy. That's all that matters. Like, you can have setbacks, you could have like negative thoughts all the time. But the key thing is, you get back up. You get back up, you train, you you don't give up your dreams. And that's the that's whole point of being a kid, man. That's how you keep the, the kid inside of you. Pause, resume. But um, on a serious note, just never give up your, like, your dreams. Because. You know what can lead you. Yeah. Let's let's again. Save some mula, you know what I mean? But um, I'm gonna show you guys what I get on the daily like snacks, dinner, breakfast, and everything. Um, I usually eat lunch at work because I get like free lunch, but um, I'll show you guys everything I eat. I had to gang bass on a bunk, it's pretty simple. So I'll show you guys. But on to the pump.
hell yeah, dude. Good pump today. Good work. Quick bluff. Okay, now on to the grocery shopping. Very public about show you guys what I eat and everything. So yeah, let's get to that. Ain't the prettiest angle, but it would do. Um, so yeah, this is my first time recording actually like somewhere in public. I'd rather just the gym by myself. So let's see how it goes. I'm already failing at it. But I usually, where I go first, where I shop to get food is go to straight to the chicken aisle. Seeing how much chicken is, it is like a decent price. Or I usually try for the ones that are already like seasoned, cause like you know, try at the same time and everything. But uh, if the, if I have a cheaper option, of course I will go to that one. What else? I also get beef, but it seems like they don't have that seasoned chicken. Unless it's over here. Let's check over here real quick. Oh, they do. They do have it. That was close. Uh, but the other one was like four dollars, so we'll go back. Unfortunately, I had seasoned this chicken, but it is cheaper. And I'm all about keeping my bag. That's this stuff. It's uh, five bucks, pretty much. So take two of these. Then uh, my red meats. I've been eating a lot of red meat lately, more than normal, because, you know, it's something different, and, uh, it's steak is a steak, you know what I mean, so, uh, I'm trying to find bison, but I feel like bison's really hard to come by now, which sucks, because bison's really good. For the for building muscle out of bulk and everything. Oh, not mine. Bices are like right here though. It's ten bucks though. So I probably just get two of these. I usually get rice too, but um, I already have rice at home. So we're just, I'm also on a uh, a budget because I've been trying to save money more. Because I'm going to school for a welding suit, so I gotta save up, so we'll be in debt. So I will try to save up for as much money as I can for that. But yeah. Um, what else? What else? Maybe my camera battery is almost dying, so I probably have to switch to my phone, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'll try to make this quick. I need coffee too, because my brother's wife needed coffee. Uh, I also get chicken strips. Put that on an air fryer, easy dinner. Or easy to snack on at night. Um, let's get some ice cream, why not? Uh, Halo Top, best ice cream. 19 grams of protein for all this, which is 109 calories. Pretty awesome. Pretty rad. It's pretty light too. I've been also getting these too. I mean, for a bulk, it's pretty crazy. I just get these uh, pizza logs. Uh, here's the calories for them. Okay, guess not. Sorry, guys, getting some of the calories. Embarrassing. Uh, um, but where are the chickens? What is a chicken? Uh, I need more. I need to get batteries too for my camera. But yeah, 
I think this is like the most important thing about going to the gym. It's not really about going to the gym. It's about uh, your diet. Because you, 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 you could be going to the gym for like days on days on days. And, um, but if you don't change your diet, you won't have shit, you know? Or have crap. Uh, she said anyone would do, so we'll get that one. Because that's 36 bucks. Well, I don't have that money for that. Um, what else do we need? I think we need bread. Bread. Because we got that. But also, like, the thing I got with the pizza logs, yeah, that's really good for a blog. It's 433 calories. And, uh, 433 calories. Uh, total, total of 13 grams of fat. With 20 grams of protein. Like, and the carbs are, like, 58. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. But I think that's majority all of it, but, uh, then we're going to get just some milk and some drinks because I love me some juice. Love me some juice. I always get this zero sugar. Zero sugar is really important. Uh, that one lemonade? Yeah. But just have uh, Pepsi's uh, Coke Zero at home. I need to get eggs too. Uh, and bagels. Oh my god, I have to get so much you know, sort of stuff. And avocado. Uh, eggs, eggs, eggs. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoy what I eat and what I do during my workouts now. Um, we're back, we're fully back. I feel I feel the energy. Um, I feel great. I feel refreshed. I think I, I don't want mission. I, I, I really gather my thoughts, we're ready. We're, we're so fucking ready. But um, yeah, uh, hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I think I see you next video, for sure. Yeah, and see you.